Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Anthony Cummins. I'm a historical researcher and author. Please enjoy the video. Right, everyone, we're going to do a picture today, another picture from Mole of Fuma. So basically, um, uh, to help me, please get this book, Ninja Skills, uh, The Authentic Ninja Training Manual by me, Anthony Cummings. There you go. Learn yourself some ninja stuff. Okay, now Mole is an, in an artist from India who's been working with me and uh, and he's been asking me some questions on trying to get a historical look at the uh, shinobi. So today we're going to be doing Fuma Kotaro and basically I'm going to go through his points here. I'm going to put some images on the screen which will be his initial sketches but then you'll see as we go along the sketches build. So uh, Mole wanted me to tell you guys, he says basically... So basically, Fuma, Fuma Kotaro, I always get that the wrong way around, uh, is basically a semi-legendary, he's meant to be real, but the idea is we don't know what exactly he did, he's like a demonic figure, he's got a massive body and face and fangs and tusks and strange eyes, but actually Moly says in his research, he thinks that um, the, it's possibly uh, Treacher Collins syndrome, so uh, in the Hojo Godaiki source, uh, he's meant to be like this, you know, bestial creature, if you like. But uh, Moly looked at the symptom, uh, the description and the symptoms of Treacher Collins syndrome and thinks that actually that's possibly what inspired it. Now, again, uh, he's extremely muscular based on these descriptions um, and that basically his muscles resembled knots all over his body. Now, you'll see there's fur on his sleeves. Now, this is based on a 17th century image that he got and we looked at it and it seems to be from a proper museum so he's put the fur on for that. The Nodachi on the back is inspired by several images. We know this traditional woodblock printings of samurai with them on. The Kama design uh, in his hand is inspired by uh, a Sengoku period antique. He doesn't know if it's truly authentic but uh, he went with it anyway but you know he tried to do the research online. Um, the overall appearance is inspired by the Edo period woodblock prints that you used to get. And the castle in the background is Odawara Castle of the Hojo clan. And he's defending it, maybe. Uh, he's basically put it in to show the connection to Hodo, Ho, Hojo. And the fire weapon in his hand is based from the Bansen Shukai. And this came from the experiment Andrew Throburn did, which we did a few weeks ago. So there you go, guys. Make sure you follow um, Moly on Instagram or DeviantArt. And uh, he will obviously keep posting these things. And we're working with him, or I am working with him, to try and get some really good pictures of the ninja out. And it's his idea. He started it all. And I'm more than happy to help him. So enjoy, guys. Don't forget, get yourself a copy of Ninja Skills. And get up to date with him. <laughs>